Beginning scan. Scan switches on. Verifying ID. Sam, the west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Nice. Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Oh, Edgenot. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. Okay. The rebirth of America is so close. We're nearing the end, and I remember, guess. That's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help okay, you get it done. Okay, that makes more sense. There you go. Hartman's lab. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Oh. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis. Oh. And I, for one, would like very much to know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. CG your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Okay. What's actually in my one, two, three, six, seven. Extra. I kind of put this in my private book. There you go, now I can. It wasn't giving me the option before, was it? Recycle. Super broken stuff. Damn, 97. That's actually quite a lot. Hey, okay, break to get that. Broken weapons, didn't I? I forgot his jacket and he got your clothes. Get a long range truck. things that I want with me. Why can't I put this in my car? I guess my car's not out yet or something. Ah, there she is. Alright, Sam. Take care of her. I will. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Millingen's special. 
be funny if these ha of ours ended up being the key to saving us all. Chuck her on her back. Thank you for your contribution. My car called for it. And I? Or no. Ah, I think click retreat. My bad. This is obviously going this way. Is there a road to this guy or no? Is there no road connecting? Okay, now the heart makes sense. Hartman. Um, but there's no road that connects the area? Come on, don't do that. way would be to walk but I don't want to walk you know what I think I might have to leave my stuff behind PCCs. It's a uh, attach a suit and release. Oh, sorry, let's replace one of them. Is that my gun? Obstacle obscuring path. Fuck. Oh yeah, that's not even like properly put uh, put away. place. Honestly, better for me to just go up, I think. was that, Sam? <laughs> Not want you to do that at all. Uh, 
Sometimes out here acting a little too reckless. In my okay, now it's down this that way. Wonder if this zip line will take me somewhere closer. A very interesting place. I guess maybe it might take me down that way, but no, I don't want to go down that way. I'm kind of going around here. Heart shape of uh, lake. Oh, there's the stairs. Made it. I was hoping there would be a road leading here, but I guess not. It's a very fancy place. Definitely much different than other places. How did I do, Hartman? Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Let's go! That full connection. That's like the last official place I need to do. Except Edge not, which is the final city, but... But this... It's like a uh, tar pit, right? I don't even know if I would be able to connect to that area. It's all tar pit, all BT. Taken over by terrorists. Okay, there's the heart region. Thermal pad. Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Alrighty. Good work. Art man, till resurrection, remaining time, minute 20. Oh shit, is that a BT? Or a replica? It's like all cushioned. Our dirty ass feet are on that. Thirty seconds till resurrection. Oof. 
episode 8, Art. Till well, death, 21 you minutes. caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. Oh. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. Ah, damn. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. Ah. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. Damn. A lot of times to go to a beach. He's still pasty. Sorry. I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual myocardial case. Myocardial cordial. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shaped heart? He has a heart shaped heart. No, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. Oh. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, That's I became call him obsessed with an idea. He has a heart. <laughs> He's a heart in the shape of a heart. It's real, and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest. Three minutes at a time. And search for them. Day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. Oh. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. <laughs> I'm glad we could have this conversation. These people and their nicknames. Oh. Um. I don't like being touched, I'm sorry. that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Is it? Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Oh. Uh. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. <laughs> Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. 
Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. Are those video games in the back? One day. They look, they look like a bunch of different PlayStation games, like PS3, P I think the it's PS4. The endless Maybe they're wars movies. you found yourself tell. trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? <laughs> Normally, the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if the way regret, station. <laughs> uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger, his misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling the strings? Pulling all their strings? I don't know, but evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Uh. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured. It'll only feel like three minutes to you. Okay. So you're going to be gone for we'll three minutes for me, shortly. but probably be longer for you in the beach, right? Time moves differently there. That is just freaky. Filling yourself every 21 minutes for three minutes. And zoom in and out. I have to leave. Which one back in the day? E. That compass. Or not the compass, the hourglass. player oh there you go
don't know if this is everything, but I'm clicking. Oh, hello. Didn't think about looking up there. I'm back! <sighs> 21 minutes. No luck. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I maybe used the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> huh? Sleep is the tricky one. Uh, and yeah. intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about, either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, Oops. Listen to music. Watch films. Yeah, those are movies. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21-minute window. Oh. You got minutes of love. Oh, from before the death drowning, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst, but the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. Oh, shit. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> the people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? Oh, but he's kind of like conscious in it. Everyone else is kind of this kind of like zombie walking towards the water. Oh, brought some color back into it. I saw my wife. And my daughter in the procession. Oh man. Hey! It's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Oh, he's gonna get go. pulled back to the land of the living. Don't go! Being resurrected. Resuscitated.
the ICU's backup generator kicked in, uh. and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. Okay, so that's why. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart. But it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. Oh. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes <laughs> to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Oh, that's not good. You get only three minutes. Sometime later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. Oh, we're gonna it build a new one. It won't be much station. given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Oh shit. You're gonna put it on. Oh, that's why it's all cushioned. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe you should just leave him there. He Don't has his defibrillator. The air absorbs the impact. Okay. I'll unlock the door for you. I was gonna hit that nice. Ah, <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you lost twenty, but you gave twenty back. Replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. 
The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the Cairo network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. Alrighty. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Okay. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Alright, sounds good. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations, especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. Okay. Oh, come on. Some orders that take us to Roboticist, Doctor, and Mountain Knot. And also, these are the main ones Geologist and Paleontologist. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I want to call it quits right here. Uh, we are officially on the next chapter, Hartman, which is going to take us down this way. We'll connect uh, this, this, th is it this, 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 or something like that? I don't know, something like that. But I want to go backwards and just do some stuff in this area. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to do that on my own. This has been a three hour session uh, and I want to call it quits here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs>